Hi, today I want to show you how to build a landing page under 10 minutes without an extra efforts. This is a fantastic tool and I want to show you how to use it uh, so you can build your own web page or website for your own purposes that will suit to your business uh, or your services. So this is the lead pages platform that allows you to build everything that you want. Uh, I want to show you how to use it. I want to show all the technical things, how to change, how to drag and drop. Uh, and there's an interesting thing that uh, you can just drag and drop all the things. Well, better I'll show you. Uh, when you're gonna be on the platform already, you need to press the create new landing page for the site. Let's create a new landing page. There's a landing page templates already built and you can use them for your purposes and you can use them for anything that you want. Let's uh, let's take some uh, simple template, one page simple template and I can show you uh, how to build your own website. For example, you have some piece of the real estate, maybe you have a house and you want to rent it or you want to uh, sell it. But how to do that? You need to bring the traffic to the landing page so the potential clients will see your offer, uh, will leave an um, email or a phone number and you will call them and you will make the ne negotiations. Okay, let's use this template. Just for example, I will show you how to change everything. First, you need to give your page a name. All right, we're here and I want to show you what's happening right here in the platform so you can uh, understand which buttons to press to uh, to change all the stuff. You have the layout. The layout is all the sections that you have on your page right now. It's main content and a footer. Of course, you can, uh, you can type in something. You can see what is the columns or what is the content or you can add it right here to the section it's pretty well built so i'm not gonna change here something just want to show you just want to show you for example you have a house you want to sell it we press in the added section settings and we can see that there's an image on the background there's no image color overlay at fill container is on the center and I want to change image. How to do that? Alrighty, for example, this is your house and you want to sell it. Yeah, nice, cool. The picture is not so pretty. Let's change it. Let's change it from those pictures that are already Let's use this one, for example. Okay, okay, cool. But you see the text right now is not so pretty visible. So we're gonna change this thing or we can make the image color overlay and add a color. Let it be white, for example, and the opacity is about 50. 50. All right, that's pretty. That's pretty cool already. Uh, I have a text, and I will just copy paste it for now. I will show you how to change it later you see everything is pretty editable the text is almost invisible so what we need to do we need to change the size we need to change the color for example I want the black All right, but the text is still small. 
Let's make it jumbo. A little bit smaller. And let's make it ball. Cool. The same thing we're making with uh, with another text. Let it be the black text. And you see that there is no background to this section. So what should we do? Added section settings. And you see that there's a content right here. So we pressing this gear and we choosing the color for the background, for example. You see, that's already better, really better. But I don't like the, I want it to be some, maybe, Yeah, it looks pretty great right now. You just click it out and you uh, and your all your changes are saved. Okay, we choose the background. It looks pretty nice already. So when you press in, look, there's a preview button. When you press in the preview button, you you can see how your web page will be displayed on different types of devices. All right. All right. But we have extra settings that we need to that we need to make spacing inside. All right. How much here? Look, the, the all the all the lines in this picture uh, are like pretty pretty straight, and this is rounded. So how to make it different? You need to press this pencil. For example, it will be the square or rounded. Here you can change the type of it. I want a square. You can press the line. And it will be like that. Or the gradient. Gradient will be like that. I don't like it. I like the flat one. And here you can change the shape of it. Now. Alright. It seems great. Let's make it like that. Okay, that's pretty it. That's pretty it. For example, you have the video and you want to show it. You go into the widgets and here you go, the video. And there's the places where you can just drag and drop it. All those blue boxes are available for to drop the video. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. All the edits that you need to make are really here. Pass the video embed code here from YouTube, email or another media provider. You will find this link easily if you have your video on YouTube, for example. You just press in the share and there's embed code. Just copy, paste it and it will appear. So for example, you need to show the video first. Uh, but the purpose of all the landing pages are to get the email or another contact information. So we need to edit the click event when somebody will click on this button. For example, we need to open a pop-up and create new because there's no pop-up. Where can we send you? Everything is pretty changeable. For example, you can change the color of the font. Okay, it doesn't matter, let it be like that. So there's an email address and just button send me guide. The button is blue. We don't have a blue color on this um, on this web page. I want to change it. I want to change the color. 
color background let it be the white one for example and the text let it be the black and we can see that right now the button is no the button is too big and the color of it I don't like the color of it okay that's that looks pretty enough but we have just email address and here you have integrations fields and actions in this fields button you can add a first name for example and it's right now email and first name with this arrows you can replace them you can add a field city for example if you don't need it you just delete it okay look that's that's pretty awesome right now that's pretty cool how to delete any type of boxes you just pressing the delete that's it here on the footer the same thing you can change everything the font any any font here also what's happening with the font is Arial let's make it actually narrow okay that looks fantastic that looks fantastic also you have the settings right here the CEO how to sell a house or the, the like SEO preview, SEO page title, SEO page description, all the SEO stuff. Social, how it will be uh, displayed on the social media. Let's insert this picture here. Okay, or you can uh, use another picture. Social URL and analytics. This is the great thing. Google Analytics tracking ID, you just place it here. Uh, here you can place the pixel from the Facebook and so on and so on. Just saving and that's it. Widgets, I showed you that any widget can be placed to the blue boxes. To these blue boxes. Cool, cool. So everything is pretty simple right here. And you can use these templates and you can use all this stuff to build your own web page for your own purposes. Yeah, it's like, or you want to sell a house, or you want to make the webinar, or you want to, uh, I don't know, send someone an ebook or anything, just anything you want. Everything that's used to your business can be built on this platform. This is Lead Pages. I left the link in the description panel of this video so you can easily find it and be my guest. Use it, build your own web page, grow your audience, grow your email list, and grow your business. I wish you good luck. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.